to Jacob and Jacob. Charlie. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to Coco. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to Benny. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to Grayson. And we'll say hello to Cameron. And we'll say hello to. Well, who's that right there? I see that one. Elmo, how are you? Hi, Elmo. When I'm first sleeping, I open up my eyes and say, Thank you, Hashem, for saving me and for giving me another day. So let's be friends and join together. So let's be friends now and forever. So let's be friends and join together. So let's be friends as that's the color away. Relaxation, some good ones. Okay, excellent. So, 
One of my favorite, favorite books is this book and it's called The Giving Tree. So what we do for trees is that we, and for plants, is that we water them, we make sure to give them a lot of sunlight, and we also treat them kindly by not picking off their leaves or stepping on them. This book is about what a tree gives to a little boy. So let's find out what the tree gave to the little boy. It's by Shel Silverstein, one of my favorite authors. He writes amazing books. All right, here we go. Once a there was a tree and he loved a little boy. And every day he would come and he would gather her leaves. and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. And Moshe said, and eat apples, that's right. And they would play hide and go seek where is he hiding? Oh, yeah. we found him behind the rock. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Look, he's getting bigger. The boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Often means a lot of the times. A lot of the times the tree was alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I wanna buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you'll have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy because he knew that he was giving something to the boy to make him happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad and then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you'll be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away and built his house. I and the tree was happy. The tree was happy because the little boy was getting what he wanted. But the boy stayed away for a long time and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. Are any of these things making the boy happy? Not really. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. 
He was missing the boy. Hi, hi, yes, uh, Scarlett. How are you doing over there? And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You can't swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. They ended up together. The end. Okay, before we do our project, I want to do this fun rhyming game. So if everyone will take out their rhyming card. Everybody has a rhyming card? This is my rhyming card. That's your rhyming card. That's right. Everybody should have a rhyming card and stickers. Old, old, Good. You have a rhyming card and you have stickers. So when I say a word and you can find the rhyming word, you may need a grown-up with you and you can find the rhyming word, you're going to take a sticker and you're going to stick it on. And then when we're done playing, you can take the stickers off and you can play it again with someone else. So we're going to start like this. So everybody take out your card. I'm gonna say a word. And you're gonna see if anything on your card rhymes. Ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Good, I see some thumbs up, excellent. Okay, here we go. The first word that I'm gonna call, and you're gonna see if you have a rhyming word, is house. House. Do you have anything on here that rhymes with house? How about you? Do you have something that rhymes with house? That rhymes with house. So it ends the same. House. It, it ends with house. What's this? Do house and mouse rhyme? No. Yes, they do. They don't have the same beginning sound, but they rhyme. House and mouse rhyme. So if you have a mouse on yours, like Moshe does right here, if you have a mouse, then you take one of your stickers and you stick it on, and that means that you have a rhyming word. House and mouse rhyme. Okay, we're not doing beginning sounds. We're not doing beginning sounds, we're rhyming. We're not there yet, we're not there yet, we're not there yet. Next word. Next word is boat. If you have something that rhymes with boat, oh look, I have something that rhymes with boat. I have goat. goat. I have a goat. And goat. goat rhymes. And goat. Yes, you have a goat. Good. Put a sticker on goat. Goat and boat rhyme. Goat and boat. Rhyme. All right, Manny, how you doing there? What? Thumbs what up. rhymes with? Okay. What All right, rhymes with paper and? All right, this is a All fan. Right. This is a fan, but we're not there. We'll okay, next. Man. Next word we have is shed. Shed. What shed. Rhymes what rhymes with shed? If you have something, oh, I have something that rhymes with shed. I have the color red. The color red. Red apple. I have red. red apple. I have a red apple. It says red. Red and I shed. Red. I have a red apple. This says fit. Rhyme yet. We don't have a rhyming word for that yet. So red and shed rhyme. They end the same way. Red, shed, head, fed, led. All of those are rhyming words. Okay. Next word is cat. Cat. If you have something that rhymes with cat, cat. Quack. I don't have anything that rhymes with cat, but if you have a uh, bat or a uh, hat or a uh, mat, I see a birthday hat. If any of you have a birthday, have a birthday hat, hat, 
hats. Good. Hats. Hats rhymes with cat. Hat. Hat and cat rhyme. Good. All right. Next one that we're going to do is bun. Bun. Bite. Bun. If you Bite. have, no, no, which is ending sound. Bite. If you have the word, if Bite you have Bite a rhyme. picture of. Bunny bite rhyme. Bite no, they rhyme. don't rhyme. They don't rhyme. It's the Bite. ending sound. Ending sound. So let me look at what, where we could find the ending bit, sound. Bit, bit. For bun. 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 Sun. If you have a sun, if you have a sun, sun rhymes with bun. I know. So if you have a sun, you can take a sticker and put it on. All right. Next, we have the word tall. Tall. So if you have a tall tree, tall. If you have this is a tall tree. What's this? Ball. Ball and tall rhyme. They ball. ball and tall have the same ending sound. We're looking for ending sounds that rhyme. So ball and tall rhyme. Manny, put that book down, Manny. We're doing rhyming words. <laughs> Come on, you can find some rhyming words. I know you can. All right, next one is crown, crown. So if you have a gown, oh look, I have a gown. I have a gown, gown rhymes with crown. Gown and crown rhyme, gown and crown. Manny, still no words? Hey, Ruby, how you doing? Good, all right. The next word that I'm gonna do is... Wow. Ran, ran, ran. What's this? Fan, good, do ran and fan rhyme? No. Yes, ran and fan. If you have a fan... You have oh, a fan? I have a fan too. Look at that. Thank you, Mocha, for pointing that out. I have a fan. Ran and fan rhyme. Good. Ran Who and has fan. a fan? <laughs> Did you have a fan? Anyone? Okay. Anyone? Next one. Bar. Bar. Do you have something that rhymes uh, with bar? Bark. Bark. Bar. It means it ends with the same sound as bar. Bang. Just like a. Bang. Bar, bar. We're rhyming. We're rhyming, not beginning sounds, ending sounds. So bar and car rhyme. Bar and car. Bar and car. So if you have a car, then you can put a sticker on the car. Okay. It's the ending sounds. We're looking for ending sounds, not beginning sounds, ending sounds. Rhymes are tricky, but we're going to figure them out. Okay, hop, hop. Who has something that rhymes with hop? So it needs an op sound at the end. An op, op, op. op so let's see, top. Oh, op if you have a mountain, and this is the top, top and hop rhyme, top. So if you have the top right here, T-O-P says top. Top, this is top, this is top. Look, this top says T-R-E-E, -E. that's his tree. So we're gonna wait to find something that rhymes so, with tree. It starts with a T. Okay, who has something that rhymes with hot, hot, hot. Uh, hot. This is a not, hot not sign, not and hot rhyme, not and hot. So if you have a not sign, do not, do not, not oh, rhymes with hot, sign. and you can put wet sign. That's wet. That is wet. So we're gonna find a word that wet. rhymes with wet. How about wet? Set, set, set wet. and wet rhyme. So if you have a wet sign like Moshe does, wet socks, wet and set rhyme. Wet. If you have wet socks on your paper. Then you can put it on I'm wet right there. I'm going to put the stickers there. on it because they do very good. Yeah. Okay, but only on the ones that we call. Okay. 
Next one is train. Train. If you have something that rhymes with train. Oh, I have something that rhymes with train. Who sees it? Rain. That's right, Grayson. Rain, rain. That's right, rain. If you have rain, then you can put a sticker right on your rain. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. Oh, look, I only need one more to win. I have one, two, three. I only need one more to win. Anybody have a winning? No, uh, you have to get this. Oh my this goodness, we already have a winner. Look, Grayson got sun, mouse, and knot. He has a whole row. Does anybody else have a whole row? Not yet? Okay, let's continue. Let's keep going. Good job, Grayson Bennett. Wow, Cameron, you're doing you great. You only have three more. Okay, next one is look, look, look. I think that probably the picture is a book. Book rhymes with look. Book. If you have a book. Mouse. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Daniel. Put a sticker on it. Mouse. You, this is how many. Boop, 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 boop. All right. If you have a pink marker, I am going to call the word, the letter sink. Pink. The word sink. 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 You have a pink. I have pink. Sink and pink. Ryan, did you get a line, Manny? Oh, I got, a pink, I got a pink hat. I got a pink Ruby, hat. Ruby, we got to see if you hat. have a line, Ruby. All right, pink. Sink and pink. Ah, oh, I got a line. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we got a few winners. So you guys can finish doing your rhyming words with your family. Find rhyming words for all the words on here so we can get quickly to our uh, activity. All right, everybody has one of these? All right, continue rhyming, guys. Let's continue rhyming later, okay? I want to hear you when you get back to school that you know all your rhyming words. All right. So, Moshe, you want to do the project with me? So, we're going to take this pen, okay? You're gonna open up your bubbles. Now your bubbles have color in it, so be careful, it could get messy. All, everybody's bubbles have color in them. So when you pour it in, be very, very careful, all right? So you're gonna pour your bubbles into your pan. Oh, you got green bubbles. Moshe got green bubbles, I got purple bubbles. All right, so let's put it up here so everyone can see us. Oh, what do you think? Okay. You've had less clothing on before. Okay, so he has green, very good. So we're gonna take our straw, okay? And you're gonna, we're not gonna drink this, they're bubbles. We're gonna blow the bubbles. So they come up like that, and then you're gonna take your canvas and stick it right on top of it, and it should make a beautiful design on your canvas. And we're gonna do that a few times until we fill up our whole canvas. Right here. There's your canvas. I'm not sure what you did with your straw. You were carrying it around, but we can get you one. Good, keep blowing the bubbles and then just put your canvas right on top of it. And if you can see, it's making a beautiful design. All right. Go we'll ask for a, a Serene if she can find you a straw in the extra Thursday um, bag. Yeah, Marcerite's in there. Just ask her if she could find you. All right, and then we're going to do this until we fill up our whole canvas with a beautiful, beautiful background. All right, so we filled up the whole canvas. Here, Mosh. Here. Yeah. Okay, so we have to wait till more Siri comes out. I don't know what she did. Okay, so when you're done with your bubbles, uh, you should have a bubble blower in here and you can blow the rest of your bubbles outside. So you can put that aside. Okay, don't blow them inside. The, take the bubble blower and blow them outside. 
Okay, and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make our tulips. We're gonna make beautiful tulips on here. And how we're gonna do that is you're gonna take your plate, your handy dandy plate, and we're gonna pour our colors in the plate. Wow, Moshe's doing it. You're gonna pour your three colors onto the plate. Look at Moshe, look at him go, wow. You only need a little bit of paint, you don't need a lot of paint. You're gonna pour your three colors onto the, onto your plate. And the first thing that we're gonna do is Make our tulips. Oops. So, you're gonna stick your fork into one color, see, so that it's all painted on the other side. And you're gonna just put it on like this onto your canvas to make the tulips, just like that. And you can make it with both colors. Keep making beautiful tulips across your canvas. Oh wow, Mosh, beautiful. All right, so then you got your tulips. Good, Moshe, see Moshe doing it? He's doing the whole thing. There he goes. Let's take a picture of Mosh doing his project. All right, how are you guys doing over there? <laughs> wow! Scarlett and Cameron, you guys are doing great. And the last part is you're gonna take your green paint from your little palette here that you have, and you're gonna make the stems. I'm using a regular little paintbrush. All right, Mosh, did you figure out how to make the tulips? All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna unmute you because our time is almost up. I want everybody to be able to say goodbye to each other. So. Yeah. Oh, lots of stuff. Oh, look at those bubbles. Wow. Oh, okay, ready? Cameron, that's amazing. I'm going to show you how to finish it. Come on, come on. Finish it. Come on. Oh, someone's really crying. Not me. Uh oh. Guys, you can all say goodbye. Say goodbye. Have fun making your tulips. Bye. Grace and Luke, can you help I me? I love you, Benny. Can you, can oh. you the stems? Luke. He drank the bubbles, Mara Homie. Oh my God, he drank the bubbles. Jacob Mara Homie, bubbles. he drank the bubbles. Oh, okay. Drink a little milk. <laughs> You'll be fine. And then he got, he spit it out all yeah, over himself. He drank the bubbles. And then he stripped. Gonna get yeah. how we, that's how we roll the here. bubbles. How we roll. Yeah. See you okay. later. Bye. I love you guys. See you later. Bye -bye. Wow, I see you. Yeah. Oh, hi. Sarah and Eli. How are you guys? Wow. Grace and Bennett. Look. That is amazing. Who else wants to show me their picture? Oh, I see a lot of bubbles there. Yes. Yeah, it is. Cameron, wow. That's beautiful. Jacob, you got a lot of bubbles. You don't need to do any more, Grayson. You're going to spill that all over the place. No, 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 no. You don't need to do any more. You're done. Grayson, you're done. Don't waste it. Yeah. He also said we need to pay. Yeah, but that's too hard. That's too hard. I sent pictures. Let me take a picture we'll of you doing it. Love you all. Okay, Grayson. Jacob's drinking the water. You need to wash your hands.
Jacob's Don't touch the table. You need to wash okay, your that's hands. That's enough. That's enough. That's that's enough. enough. I want to see your face. <laughs> oh, Jacob, no. Wow, Jacob, you go. Oh, oh yeah, wow. yeah. Don't, don't drink. Wow, look at Jacob's thing. Look at Jacob's necklace. It's so beautiful. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Jacob, oh my gosh, that's awesome bubbles. I love them. Look at Jacob's tongue. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. We got some drinkers. Uh oh. We got some drinkers. That's super yuckers. <laughs> Hi, Eli. Super. Super yuck. 